So I've done my f top five Tesco beers a couple of weeks back. Seem to be well received. Obviously, we've got more supermarkets to get to. So today, I'm going to tell you my top five Sainsbury's beers. Here, on Scott Review Things. Hello again and welcome back to Scott Review Things. Hope you're all keeping really well. Um, a couple of weeks ago, did my top 10, no I didn't, <laughs> that's, that's a lie, did my top 5 uh, Tesco uh, beers. Um, no surprise that Francis Carner walked away with it. Now, there are some rules of engagement with the top 5. Um, super, individual supermarket beers that you can't have one beer more than in if you like, like Francis Carner, it cannot now appear in any other super, supermarkets um, top five. So it can only appear once, which then makes it easier because obviously Francis Carner is in, in, in a load of the supermarkets. It's going to be in the top five. It come, comes a little bit boring, probably much like this video. Um, so. I'm probably going to do Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Asda. I don't really go to Marks and Spencer's and Waitrose. I can do them, but they're beers that don't, or shops I don't really go into. So I'm going to go to the, the main Lidl and Aldi. If you want Lidl and Aldi, then let me know. Then let me know. That should be a short video, I would have thought. Uh, well, certainly Aldi, because Aldi's got some atrocious beers. It's very good stuff as well. Um, so Sainsbury's, um, again, the, the thing with these supermarkets that really pissed me off, and I'm sure it pisses you you guys off as well, is the stock policy. Some Sainsbury's are really good. Some Sainsbury's are really bad. Same with Tesco's, same with Morrison. You know, they're, they they would give Mother Trees the fucking shakes. Um, so you go, as a channel, I'd say, look, this is now in Asda or Sainsbury's or Morrison's. And then you can't get it, and it, it, it drives me to, to absolute despair. It really does. That You try and help promote these things, and you get nowhere with it because the, their, their stock policies are so shit. So Sainsbury's have come on leaps and bounds for me in the last couple of years um, with their certainly their craft beer. They do some crap. They seem quite reliant sometimes on Tiny Rebel for, for whatever reason that might be. Um, so, but I won't hold that against them. If that's what they want to do, then that's absolutely fine. But they, they have had some good stuff, but they've also had some adjunct heavy rubbish. Um, what I've found with, I've got, I've got my notes, uh, not notes, I've got the, the top five over here. Um, this one's probably, is it the most, most diverse? It's not, uh, this one hasn't got any. Also, must state that they have to be current. Like, these have got to be current beers. There can't be beers that have come and gone like a lot of the craft beer stuff. Uh, there's no craft beer in this list, I don't think. Um, it's all pretty decent stuff, I think. So, without further ado, number five in my top five Sainsbury's beers is Pilsner Urquell, which I think is just an absolutely fantastic beer. Um, don't drink a whole lot of pilsners and lagers. It's just a style that I personally don't gravitate towards. But where um, where quality is seen, I will acknowledge quality. And let's be honest, there's nothing. There's not many pilsners, obviously being the original pilsner, um, that come close to the quality of pilsner Raquel. So, and actually, um, Chantel and Jack went to Prague last week and brought me back a very nice Pilsner Urquell glass. So, I'm very much looking forward to picking up a bottle of that and gracing it with my new glass. Um, absolutely tremendous, top notch, and well deserved in this top five. So, Pilsner Urquell number five. In Scott's top five Sainsbury's beers. So you're asking, what's number four, Scott? I'm about to tell you. Number four is a beer I absolutely love. 
I want to make sure it wasn't in any of the others, to be fair. Was it, was it might have been in the Tesco one. I just had to cut and check something out for number four because I've deleted <laughs> the Tesco uh, top five. I couldn't remember if I'd put this one in there, and I haven't. So we're good to go. Number four from St. Austell Brewery is Proper Job. Absolutely love Proper Job. Proper Job is a cracking old school beer you know it, it for me i can walk up to the co-op and get a couple of bottle, bottles of proper job it's fucking brilliant I, it's i i don't like the new branding on proper job proper job i think it's really crap i used to like the old branding so St. nostrils put it back you've been told um they do the black for the proper job black which is a black ipa version of it even better i absolutely love proper uh, uh proper Proper, proper black it's called the proper job it, it is it the best ipa in the market no it's not it is sort of west coast leaning which is why i probably like it um but it always hits the mark Pro i absolutely adore proper job and um i couldn't do these uh, top fives and not have proper job in there because I think it's an absolutely tremendous beer. So number four in Scott's top five Sainsbury beers is proper job. Number three, and I can guarantee this one wasn't in there, and it's an absolute classic. Uh, it's full as an ESB, extra special bitter. Again, absolutely tremendous. What what can I say about full as ESB? That hasn't already been said by a multitude of people in this country. The standard leading um, extra, extra special bitter in the country has been for donkey's years. Um, don't pick it up very often, but when I do, I've got, a, I've got an ESB glass here somewhere. Um, absolutely love it. It's um, absolutely it's a tremendous beer. If you haven't tried ESB and you like a bitter then go and pick it up because you're not going to be disappointed. It's um, it's 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 a fabulous beer. So I think I did it on a long dormant episode of Back in Time beers. Maybe I'll bring back Back in Time beers. I've got a, a beer in my van that I picked up it's in the fridge that would do well in Back in Time beers. So maybe we'll 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 resurrect that one as well. Um, and number two, so that's number three. Sorry, number three, Fuller's ESB on Scott's top five Sainsbury's beers. Two and one I'm struggling with because I absolutely love both of these beers and picking between them is really, really difficult. Um, so I've got them written down. I've got them in an order, but that's just how well I came, they came to me. So I don't actually know which way I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to go with number two in my Sainsbury's top five beers is going to be, I don't think I've got a bottle. I might have. Let me see. Is that going to pick it? Oh, bloody like moth there. Fuck off. Um, no, I haven't. Number two in the Scott's top five is going to be Schneiderweiss. Absolutely belting vice beer, Hefeweizen. Um, I've really enjoyed getting into Hefeweizens in the last two years. And Schneiderweiss is an absolute, slightly different to the other Hefeweizens, slightly darker, um, but equally as good. And this is a really tough decision to put Schneiderweiss in number two because... I really like Schneiderweiss. I think I've got the Erdinger. I'm sure I've got a bottle of that somewhere. Maybe, maybe I've been, maybe I've binned it. Um, but yeah, absolutely love Schneiderweiss. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant um, vice beer. Um, readily available in most Sainsbury's, so you can pick it up. So if, if you haven't had a vice beer. It's a it's it's a good one to start at. Francis Carl is a good one to start at. Um, Schneiderweiss, Paul Anna. Um, obviously, Paul Anna is not available in Sainsbury's. So number two in my Sainsbury's top five beers is Schneiderweiss, which leaves number one. And this is a this is tight. This is a tight call. 
Uh, number one is Ryan Stefano. <laughs> Ryan Stefano by Spear. And now I have got a very dusty bottle of Ryan Stefano. And I think that might just nick ahead of Schneider Weiss. I'll have to do a side by side. I'll have to get another glass because I smashed my um I've got an Erdinger Vice beer glass and smashed my Schneider Weiss glass. Well Wanda smashed it. I'm ad trying to get the, the blame off of her. Um and do a side by side because both of those beers are absolutely tremendous. But from the different times I've had them, I think Vine Stefan has just got a little bit more about it for me. Um, obviously the oldest brewery in the world. And it's a beer I absolutely love. Don't have it a great deal. Um, don't buy a great deal of beer from Sainsbury's. But that is absolutely tremendous, as is Schneider Weiss. So you, you can't go wrong with either of those two beers if you're if you're looking to try a and they're not and they're not expensive either. When you look at the price of of craft beer, you're getting I think they're about two pounds seventy a bottle, something like that in, in Sainsbury's. Well worth the money. Um but yeah, Vine Stefana for me probably just pips Schneider Weiss until I do a proper side by side. If that's something you want to see, then leave a comment in the comments box. So my number, so my top five. Um Pilsner Raquel, just brilliant beer. Number four, proper job from Austell. I'm unashamedly putting it in there. Number three, full of the SB. I think he's an absolutely cracking beer. Number two is Schneiderweiss, um, Hefeweizen. And number one, winning it by a Nat Knacker, is Vine Stefana. So what are your favourite beers currently available in Sainsbury's? Leave a comment in the comments box. Tell me if I've gone absolutely mad. Death threats are always funny. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Could I have picked better? Are there better beers in Sainsbury's? That's for you to tell me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button somewhere. See you soon.